Police say a woman was assaulted while running on the Swamp Rabbit Trail today. Investigators with the Greenville Police Department say it happened early this morning near Cleveland Park. Our Chloe Salsameda has the story. Adults and kids use the Swamp Rabbit Trail every day to get exercise and to just get outdoors. Those we spoke with say they never expect to be assaulted on the trail. Before the sun rose at around 520 this morning, a woman says she was running on the Swamp Rabbit Trail toward Cleveland Park. As she crossed over Fernwood Lane, she saw a man standing next to a bike. She kept running, was listening to music, and lost track of the man. Then a few moments later, she says the man appeared from the side of the trail and groped her. She began yelling, which reportedly scared him off. The woman flagged down an officer soon after and told them what happened. We spoke with several people on the trail today who didn't know about the assault. It does concern me. I'm always sort of cautious about that. I, I definitely would think twice about coming out if it's dark out. Yeah, I feel safe. Like if I have any type of unsafety, I wouldn't come out here, but I feel safe when I'm walking out here. This is at least the third assault on the trail in the last six years. In 2017, a woman said she was walking near Cleveland Park when a man groped and beat her. Two years later, another woman was jogging near the Cleveland Street YMCA when a man attacked her and stole her belongings. And have you ever felt unsafe in this area? I really haven't. Um, I come out with my dog and then I'll go for a run. There's usually lots of people out. Following the assault in 2019, Greenville Police released some safety advice for those who use the trail. Run with a friend or dog. Join a running group. Avoid wearing earbuds at a high volume or anything that prevents you from hearing. If you have to run alone, let someone know where you're going and when you should be back. Carry a cell phone, consider alternating your route, and wear reflective clothing. Police say if you see anyone or anything suspicious on the trail, you should alert them. In Greenville, Chloe Salzmeda, 7 News. Police say the woman described her attacker as a white male more than six feet tall, between 150, 190 pounds, dark hair cut to the scalp, wearing dark colored shorts and a dark t-shirt.